बिसमीम् अलकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स थैंक्स फॉर बींग अ पार्ट ऑफ आर ई लर्निंग वेलकम टू डिप्स वर्चुअल क्लासेस दिस इज़ योर इंग्लिश टीचर आसिया कुयूम हेयर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव एन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आर इंग्लिश बुक एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ द डे इज द फेयरवेल सरमन लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द टाइटल ऑफ इंग्लिश बुक फॉर क्लास सेकेंड ईयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट टेक आउट द फर्स्ट पेज ऑफ योर बुक and let me give you a short introduction about your syllabus and about your book so here you can see the list of the contents included in your syllabus the book has been divided into total 7 units now you can clearly see that each unit is further divided into parts and we have 6 poems in our syllabus along with three grammar topics as well now we will move towards the unit number 1 The title of the unit number one is Vision and Mission, in which we are having two prose units: the farewell sermon, Jinnah Vision of Pakistan, and the poem The Blades of Grass. Now we will start our unit number one, the farewell sermon of our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is one of the most inspiring sermon to be read. Why it is most inspiring? Because it highlights the universal message of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the title of the chapter is the farewell sermon, Khutbah Hujjatul Vida. So the farewell sermon of our beloved Prophet, our Khutbah Hujjatul Vida, is a code of conduct for entire humanity. That how the Muslims could lead a successful life by following these golden principles. It teaches us universal brotherhood, equality, rule of law and order, rooting out of tribal racial injustice. human rights women rights piety and khatme nabuwat it is called the farewell sermon because prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him delivered it on the occasion of his first and last hajj nearly 1500 years ago on the 9th of islamic month of zil hajj on mount arafat where our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave his final sermon it was a sermon that brought together the message and purpose of life Let's see the the definition and the title of the chapter now. Sermon is a religious speech believed by Muslims to have been delivered by Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the ninth of Zul Hajj. Sermon means a religious address or a moral subject of special occasion. This lesson is about last last address of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now we will discuss some important points of first paragraph. that you need to remember the farewell sermon was delivered on the 9th day of zul hajj 10 after hijri 632 ce in the mount arafat in makka c stands for common era okay students it's very important information of the first paragraph and you also need to remember all these dates you need to learn all these dates as well as it is very important regarding your exam in the form of mcqs after praising and thanking allah prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said o people lend me an attentive ear for i know whether after this year i shall ever be among you again therefore listen to what i am saying to you very carefully and take these words to those who could not be here present here today The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam stress on the fact that if every man has to appear before God and he forbade interest on loan. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam stressed on the equality of all mankind and he said all man- mankind is from Adam and Eve an Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab nor a non-Arab has any superiority over an Arab. Also a white has no superiority over black nor a black has any superiority over white except by piety and good action learn that every muslim is a brother to every muslim and the muslim constitute one brotherhood then he quoted that remember one day you will appear before allah and answer your deeds so be aware do not stray from the path of rightness after i am gone in the fourth paragraph Nabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam laid stress on the women rights according to our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam women are to be treated with kindness he said o oh people do treat your women well and be kind to them because they are your partners and committed helpers 
In fifth paragraph, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us the message of duties being a Muslim. He gave us the advice that fulfill the religious duty, like we should offer prayer, fast during Ramadan, perform zakat, and we should perform the hajj if we can afford. Let's move towards the last paragraph now. In the last paragraph, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam clearly declared that he is the last Prophet of Allah. No other apostle shall come after him. He declared khatm e in the last sermon. The Prophet ﷺ raised his forefinger and says, Be witness, O Allah, that I have conveyed your message to your people. I leave behind me the two things, the Quran and my example, the Sunnah. In the last paragraph, you can see that the very first line of the last paragraph is mentioned in the block letters in a very highlighted form. Why it is highlighted? Because the Prophet ﷺ just want to focus on it. You can see that the very first line of the last paragraph is mentioned in the block letters on the screen. So these were the precious words of our beloved Prophet ﷺ. We should remind these words again and again. We ask Almighty Allah, His peace and mercy and blessing be upon our Prophet ﷺ. For indeed it's the blessing for us to be of his ummah, the best of all ummah. And I pray to Almighty Allah, make us Prophet ﷺ companion in Jannah. Amen.